Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve another problem in chapter 2 polynomials in NCERT Max class 10. The problem is find the zero of the quadratic polynomial x square plus 7x plus 10 and verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients. So this is our given quadratic equation. So we are going to solve this quadratic equation and the first thing is we need to calculate the zeros. So x square plus 7x plus 10. Right. So we have to find two numbers such that if we multiply the two numbers we should get 10 and if we add the two numbers we should get 7. Right. So First, let us try what are all the possible factors for 10. So, when you consider 10, you can take 10 into 1 is 10. And again, 5 twos are 10. Right, that's it. These are all the possible combinations to make 10. So, when we add two numbers, we should get 7. Right. So, we, we can't take this option. That is 10 and 1. We should not take this one. Because when we add 10 plus 1, it goes 11. But we need only 7 here. So we can take the option 5, 1, 2. Right. So the next step is write the first term as such x square plus this 7x can be written as 5x and 2x. Right. So here I am writing it as x square plus 2x plus 5x plus 10. And the last term we have to write as such. This 7x is written as 2x plus 5x. Now first consider these two terms. So when you take x outside, the remaining term will be here. You will be having x, right? So x plus 2, right? And the next thing, when you consider these two terms, you can take 5 commonly outside. So, when you take 5 outside, the remaining terms will be here, you will be having x plus and when you take 5 here, the remaining terms will be 2, right? So, this is our next step. So, in this case, we are having x plus 2 here common. So, when you take this x plus 2, the remaining terms will be x plus 5. So, here x plus 2 into x plus 5 are the respective factors. So, when you equate these terms to 0, we can find the value of zeros. So, here x plus 2 equal to 0. So, this implies x equal to minus 2. And x plus 5 equal to 0 and this shows x is equal to minus 5. So, the zeros of this quadratic polynomial are, so we can write here, zeros are minus 2 comma minus 5 right so the first part of the problem gets over here and the next thing is we have to verify the relationship between zeros and coefficients so what is the relationship it is given here sum of zeros equal to minus coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x square so again look at the problem so here what is the coefficient of x it is nothing but 7 so which is equal to minus 7 divided by what is the coefficient of x square so here x square coefficient is 1 so minus 7 by 1 which is equal to minus 7 right so again here what are the zero values we are having minus 2 and minus 5 now calculate the sum of zeros so when you add the zeros we will be getting sum is equal to minus 2 and minus 5 here both are with the same sign, right? So when you add 5 plus 2 becomes 7 with the minus sign here. Because these two elements have minus sign, so here I am putting the minus, right? So here sum is equal to minus 7 and here again the sum of zeros by using this formula, it is also equal to minus 7, right? And the next thing is product of zeros. So first let us calculate the product. So here product equal to minus 2 into minus 5 right minus into minus becomes plus and 5 twos are it is 10 so here again substitute the term which is equal to product of zeros is 
coefficient of x co sorry constant term divided by coefficient of x square so here what is the constant term given in this polynomial it is 10 so 10 divided by what is the coefficient of x square it is nothing but 1 so which is equal to 10 so again here you see product of zeros equal to 10 and again product of zeros when related with this formula here also it becomes 10. So therefore the relationship between zeros and the coefficients are verified. Okay, that's all. The problem gets over here. Thank you.